So we're going to be doing the inside front pocket. So what you're going to be doing is getting a piece of craft cardstock seven and a half inches wide this way and then four and a half inches tall and you're going to score it half an inch here on these long ends here and a half an inch down here. So you're going to have a pocket that is six and a half by four inches. So that's going to go down here. Then you're going to cut this piece, which is going to be six and three quarter inches long. And you are cutting it from the 12 by 12 sheet. It's right up here, this part here. So six and so just cut from green to green, green edge to green edge, six and three eighths inches long. That's going to go here. Hard to see, hard to see, I know. And then you're gonna get this from the eight by eight collection. Whoa, whoa, that is so blurry. So you're gonna get this from the eight by eight collection. And this is going to go down here. Make sure your stripes are going in this direction when you cut it. So this is going to be approximately three inches tall. You might have to trim it by six and three eighths inches wide. Same as this. And that's going to go right here. That's going to form our pocket. Then you're going to get this from the six, the eight by eight collection. And again, it's going to be six and three eighths inches wide. Mine is a little over six and a half inches tall. It doesn't really have to be that tall. And that's going to fit inside the pocket. So when we put this together, it's going to look something like this. And then we're going to have this little piece, the letters to Santa, that's going to go down here. I still have to ink this. And then you're going to cut this from the 8x8 collection. And this little booklet, you're going to fold it, and this little book it, booklet will fit in here like this. So let's start by adhering this pocket down. Make sure, or at least I do, because I'm a heavy, you can tell I'm a heavy inker with my vintage photo. I'm going to ink it, miter my corners, make sure there's no bulk in these corners, miter my edges here. And I am going to adhere that down. Remember, always adhere this bottom flap first and then put your scotch tape or your construction tape over this flap so you don't hit this lip. So that will prevent you hitting that lip. So I'm going to get my pocket in and I'll be right back. So I have this bottom flap in. So since we did not co cover this with another sheet of paper, you need to make sure that this lip is covered with your scotch tape or your construction tape. So make sure you get both those lips covered. There. And you can pull this over. But I'm not going to quite pull it over till I get my paper, this paper inside. Next, I'm going to go ahead and build my pocket piece by first putting this in. Make sure you leave a bit of that craft cardstock paper. Gosh, it's hard to see it, huh? So just make sure you leave some of that craft cardstock. Here, so you can have a little bit of reveal and you're going to adhere this down here like that so I'm going to go ahead and put mine in so 
So I got this strip in, so now I'm going to be adding this piece with that diagonal stripes going this direction. And I'm just going to leave, I just like to have a little bit of the, the craft card stock peeking out through between this it, this paper and this paper, just a little bit. So it's going to go right there. I've already inked the edges, so I'm going to apply my tape and I'm going to adhere this down. So now that this piece is in, you're going to get this piece. Uh, make sure you ink the edges. This is from the 8x8. Eight eight. You're going to center it and you're going to put it pretty close to the bottom down here. Somewhere like that. And then what I'm going to be using is these little pieces from the 8x8 eight eight collection. Oops. I'm just folding this one this way, rounding the corners on the sides burnishing it on the edge, burnishing it here, and then this one I'm folding in this direction and running the corners, inking it, and this is going to be the inside. And you can put photos in here if you'd like. And then these will sit in this little front pocket like this. So it'll be like that once you get it done. Just pop Apply a thin strip of glue on these three sides here, very thin, and that's what I'm going to do, and I will be back. So the last thing we need to do, I still haven't adhered this down. I'm going to do that next. I'll pull the tape, put that down, and then this piece, I'm going to be putting it so it goes through those flaps so we don't bump into those flaps with whatever we put in this pocket and I am going to be marking mine where I want to um, stop the tape because I'm just going to be using tape so what I'll do is flip this over put this in get it where I want it, and then I'm just gonna make little tick marks on this back side of where I'm going to stop my tape. If you're using glue, you don't have to do that. But, so those tick marks tell me where I'm gonna be adding tape up and through here and not anything down here. I may add some glue, but probably not. Okay, I'm gonna be putting this in next. So this front inside cover is done, and I think that is so beautiful. And with these little cards, if you're going to be giving it to somebody, you can just write to and from. Great little cards right there. And then you can make a photo mat or a little booklet to put behind in this, this big pocket here. So now we're going to go on to... The, uh, let me make sure, the back panel here, not here. This is part of the of the other thing of the um, junk journal. So the back covers here. So we're going to be starting on the back um, cover, inside cover. So, what you're going to do is you are going to cut one, two, three, four pieces that measure five and seven eighths inches tall by three and three quarter inches wide, and you're going to score up here on this this top part, the three and three quarter inch side. You're going to score it right there, half an inch. So you're going to have four pieces that look like this, but all scored half an inch. I went ahead and since I'm a heavy inker, I inked all around in top and bottom, um, so I don't have to worry about inking. So all these are inked and ready to go. Then you're going to cut one piece 
three and three quarter inches wide, approximately seven and a half inches tall. We're going to trim it down, but we are going to build our waterfall on this base piece. So that's what we're going to do. So if when you build a waterfall on a base piece like this, what's nice is obviously you just butt that up here and you put it down and then you have this as a guide. You have this base piece as a guide to make sure it's nice and straight. So I use tape, so I'm going to be putting tape. I'll put one down, get it lined up. And then once I have that one in, you guys know how to build them. You put your tape or glue on this side. You butt it up next to this one. You have your guide. You are using your guide to make sure this is nice and straight. You glue it or tape it down and then do the next one. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get those four pieces in. So you have your waterfall made. So just kind of set that aside. Next, you're going to go to the eight by eight paper, this one, and you're going to cut out this section right here with the four stamps, these four Santa stamps, and you're going to basically cut it um, that there's a thin line of cranberry um, color all the way around it. You're going to cut that off so it comes out to like this. And basically, this is one and five eighths inches wide. And it is six and a half inches long. So you're going to cut that out, ink the edges, and then you're going to get a piece of craft card stock. And this is like one and one and three quarters inches wide by six and six and a half is four eighths, six and five eighths inches long. And you're just going to barely just tap the, the ink around the edges there. And you're going to affix this piece onto the craft card stock like that. So get that done. I'm going to do that. Okay, then you are going to go and get this um, piece. Where did I put it? This is a postcard from the 12 by 12 collection. It had the sweets and candy elf tested in it and I just basically cut this part out. I cut it out right, I followed the little dots on the inner cranberry circle, inked the inside, and then I cut it, so you can see where I cut it on the top and on the edges and on the bottom. So this piece measures Three and um, three and a half, three and four eighths, between three and four eighths and three and a quarter. Not quite three and a quarter. It's not quite three and a quarter. That's the width, and the height is five and five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So that's been inked up. And then I just cut a piece from, the, I believe this is the patterns and solids. That's just going to fit back here like that. So it doesn't have to be the exact same size, just so when you adhere it, it covers up like this. If you want to um, keep it open so you can insert your own photo, do, don't glue all four sides. Just leave, leave one top part open and that way you can slide your own photo in and just get it straight 
line's not straight, but you're going to line it up so the lines are all straight. And then I got this guy from the, um, the ephemera package, and he is going to be sitting in here like this. Oops, I want to put his toys coming out, so he's going to be something like that. So him, once I get this whole thing um, put together, it's going to fit on top of this first part of the waterfall. So that's going to be our first part of the waterfall like that. So kind of get this together. Make sure you ink the inside. Ink this guy too. Um, get this cut out. And put this together as a unit. Make sure the lines are straight. I'm going to be getting my lines straight for this one. And I want my lines to be straight across. Like I said, if you want to slip a photo from your Christmas photos, leave the top part not glued. Just kind of glue it on three sides here. So I'm going to get this put together. So once you get this card made and um, you affix your Santa, I kind of left him open a little bit. You're going to put him on the first waterfall piece here. So you're going to center him up. If you cut it right, you should have a little bit of the craft card stock border all the way around. Not much, but you should have some all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and affix him down next. Okay, now... We haven't covered this back panel um, part yet. So this is part of your mini album. This is going to become the um, junk journal side. But we're going to cover this spine here. And we want to make this all even. Not even, but on the same plane. So there's no drop off. So it's nice and smooth all the way. So I'm just getting a piece of craft card stock the same height as the swing that you made for your hinge. This is just a eight and a half by 11 sheet. And so this is 11 inches long, not quite long enough. And then I just cut another piece just a little bit. I'm going to affix this down. So I'm going to be affixing all this down. The only part that's going to be showing, because we're going to be covering this up with um, designer paper, is going to be here at the spine. So I'm going to kind of ink in this area so um, it won't look like this. It'll look more like the inked part. So I'm going to get this ready and I'm going to put this all down. So I got my paper in. Now you need to go back over those spine fold edges with your not sharp bone folder edge or else you will tear the paper. So remember, this is going this way and this is going to be folding this way. So it's going to be like this. So we got that folded. Now we just need to work on this back page. Okay, so for the back page, where did I put my piece? So you're going to get this, I believe, is this from the Patterns and Solids? Yes, this is the Patterns and Solids. So you're going to cut a piece that fits in this region here. So I need to cut it a little bit shorter. So this is six and a half. So this is going to be six and three eighths. And this should be eight and a half. So I need to cut this an eighth of an inch shorter. And then I'm going to make sure it clears my, well this side doesn't matter because it's clearing it. 
make sure it clears the edge there yeah so i'm going to go ahead and trim this off an eighth of an inch down here and i'll be back oh i was just about to pull this tape at the bottom of this piece do not adhere it down here we need to put the closure for our waterfall we're going to slip it down underneath here good thing i didn't pull that tape um so hopefully you guys um i i will make a note in the video do not adhere down till um the bottom okay so good tape still there Whew. okay it's Okay, so next what we're going to do is add our half an inch strips to our waterfall pieces. So this piece, um, it's a half an inch, and it's from the 8x8 eight eight collection, and it measures 1 16th less than 3 and th 3 quarters. So it's almost three quarters of an inch, which is the width of this waterfall. Yeah, I'm gonna cut them so they're the same um, width as this guy. So I'm gonna go back and just tr do a little trimming. So use this as your, whatever this is, make this the width. So, but anyway, half an inch strip, green snowflake eight by eight. Then this paper, little stamps this is from the 8x8 make sure you ink all these same thing half an inch strip same width that's going to go there and then this is from the patterns and solids the gold and i just found a scrap piece of paper and kind of got jingle all the way in there so that's going to go there and then this is from the 8x8 the striped paper and let's see where my snowflakes down here and that's going to go like that Whew. so get all those down and of course uh, I'll talk to you about my problem later but get those down and then we will make the closure the magnetic closure for this waterfall So once you have your half inch strips cut for the waterfall on the front, do the half inch strips for the waterfall on the back. Um, for this top one right here, I just used, this is from the 12 by 12 paper. I just used this one, got the cranberry part. It's this paper on the back. So I'm going to be attaching these on the front and back. So we have our half inch strips applied. Next, you're going to get this paper from the Patterns and Solids. You're gonna use the solid gold side and you're gonna cut a piece eight and one eighth inches long by four inches wide. Now, this guy is going to be sitting, you're gonna uh, center it um, side to side and you want to keep a half inch portion down here. So I just put some tick marks down here for a half inch. And that's where you're going to line this bottom edge up. So it's a half inch like that. Going to be um, going to have just a little. Oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not in frame. You're, you're going to have a little bit of re, reveal of the gold up here. A little bit of gold reveal on the sides and then this is going to be a half an inch up so this is going to be sitting like this so that's going to go there and then <clears throat> i don't know if i know we uh, i showed you to put the the card stock around this piece here um, and you're also going to put a piece of gold, the same gold as this one. And this gold piece measures 
width wise it's um one and seven eighths by six and seven eighths but you measure yours to make sure depending on how you cut this so it's just going to have a little bit of that gold reveal through on around this piece and that's going to be sitting like this so don't you you can adhere this part down on the gold and then we're going to be making the closure the this is going to have magnets on the back I put magnets here and of course the magnets are going to have to be underneath Santa of which I forgot to do and I glued mine partly down. I'm going to try to remove him and get some magnets under here. But there it's going to go somewhere like that. And then this is two and five eighths inches wide by six and three quarter inches long. And we're going to be scoring it somewhere down here, depending once we get this piece um, way, the way we want it, we'll figure out where we're gonna put our score line down here. And then you're gonna get this piece from the eight by eight and you're just going to put that in like this. And this measures two and a half inches wide by, well, I haven't cut it yet. It's still eight, eight inches. I haven't cut it yet. You're, I use my scallop punch for the, the corners up here. If you don't have that, you can just use a corner rounder. And what I'm also going to do, I got this piece of silver ribbon, looks kind of like tinsely. I'm going to put this under here. So it's going to be something like, like this, something like that. And then where's that piece I had? Where did it go? This piece. This is from the Ephemera collection. Um, this little flag that says Happy Holidays. I cut this portion off of it. And this is going to be going like this. Something like that. So I've got lots of stuff I got I gotta do. So first thing I'm gonna do is adhere this down on this gold paper. I'm going to um, not adhere this down yet because I don't know where I'm gonna cut it, but I'm going to figure out where we're gonna make the score mark on this. So put these two aside. Get Santa adhered down to the gold. Have this strip adhered down to the gold. And then I'm going to be right back. So you're going to be applying score tape or glue on the back of the, this base piece. Remember we built our, our waterfall on this base piece. So this whole base piece is going to be adhered to this gold portion right here and you you want a good attachment so I'm going to be adhering this with all my score tape if you use glue that's fine too but I'm going to use my score tape and then I'll be right back okay so got Santa well got Santa Got this fixed to the gold piece. Make sure you burnish this real well. This is going to be going in like this. So get it where you kind of want it. So it should be like that. Should have basically the same 
reveal of the burgundy here is on this side and from the bottom and the top. So it's going to be somewhere like that. This piece, the closure, I used 80 pound cardstock just because I want this to be stronger. Just strong because it's going to be going up and down and the hinge takes a lot of wear and tear. So this is going to be about here. And depending where you have your Santa, where you put your Santa. Um, oops, I think I want a little farther down like that. So I'm going to have my ribbon pull about right there. Let's see how that looks. Maybe a little farther down. So once you get it figured out where you want yours, mine's going to be about like that. Then you would go down here and you would mark where, where you're going to be um, making your, your score mark. So I'm marking it right here. It's at the edge of the album here, right there. And I'm going to give me a little tiny gusset too. So there. I think I need a gusset. Maybe not. It can probably fold over, but we'll, we'll see. So I'm going to make my first score mark right there. So once I know where I'm going to put my score mark, then I'm going to score it and then I can cut the paper to the right size. So I'm going to put this in my score scoreboard and fold it and burnish it and get it where I think I want it underneath this cranberry paper. So I have this piece, um, the gold piece, ready to be attached down. I kind of marked it with pencil, so I have my guides to where I'm going to put it. So you have basically the same reveal down here of the cranberry as you do up here, a little bit reveal on the side here, and this is going to go somewhere like this, but we'll attach this after we're done with this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my tape and get this down, and then um, figure out where we're going to be placing our little flap. Okay, I had to remove my Santa Claus, so um, I will let you know when I'm putting this down. Do not put Santa Claus down. Um, my bad. So I removed it, but hopefully you don't. You guys don't have to, and you won't have problems with your magnets. Magnets are. Oh my God. Anyway. So I, I drew my outline of my Santa so I know where he is. The magnets have to be behind Santa so he can hide my magnets. First thing I'm going to do is figure out where I want this. You do not need a gusset down here. Um, this is going to be, I want it kind of centered here so that looks about right. So I'm going to go ahead and put my tape on the back of this, slide it underneath my cranberry paper, and get that adhered down. Then I can figure out where I'm going to be putting those magnets. So you won't be dealing with this, so I put my magnets here. It looks like they're going to be safe up here. I'm going to transfer one at a time. So my magnets down here are underneath my black construction tape. So I'm going to transfer this one, see if it is within the confines of the Santa. Yes, he makes, he makes the Santa cut. So let me transfer this other one. This other one should be um, 
easier because I've got Santa's belly to put him in. So let's see. You can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting my transfer tape. Transfer, transfer. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's not very pretty, but hey, the magnets are in. <laughs> okay, so now I get to uh, make sure these stay down, and I'm going to take off my score tape and reposition my Santa and make sure everything is hidden. And I will be back. So I got my magnets underneath Santa. I'm so upset because when I tore him out, I got this little crease in his belly, if you can see that. Just a little crease. Oh, but you guys won't do that because you will know to put your magnets in. My bad. So his magnets are in. So now I can put this on, cut this to the right size. Um, like I said, we do not need a gusset. Make sure you put this down at the edge of your, your album down here so you got room to fold over. I'm going to adhere this down, cut this, and then I'm going to do this. At least you can't see his creased belly with this up, only like that. Oh my God, I'm so upset. Uh, maybe I can get another one of these and put them on top. I don't know. Oh. So I got the paper on. I got this little banner on. This is where I'm gonna position my little pole ribbon right here. Just another thing. <laughs> Why this makes me so mad, I only use tape because I use undo. I have this bottle of undo. It's it's almost empty because I use undo. And if, if I make a mistake and I use my tape, I can always undo it. And I don't hurt my paper. I don't, it just, it's, it's like a crutch. This, I couldn't be using tape because it was too, too, <laughs> Too hard to put tape around here I should have but I used glue so you can't undo glue that's oh anyway I'm not gonna let it go but <laughs> I need to let it go so now I'm going to um, find a piece of pattern paper that goes back here to hide hide this you can't see it but hide this part back here so I'm going to search for a piece of of paper for back in here. So I chose the this paper for this stripe for for this bottom flap which is the same paper as what's behind Santa. So stripes going in the same direction horizontal covered up my magnets my little pull tab and I pulled this from the ephemera packet, inked it, and then I covered up the, the little hole that was here with a tiny little sticker that's on your sticker sheet. There's only one of them and it's real tiny. So I'm going to be putting this about like that. Love is the spirit of Christmas. I thought that would be nice. And the other thing I did, because you, if you, those of you that don't know me, I can't let things go. So I cut this out. This was from here. I just cut him out. He's the same size as this. He's the same size as this guy. So I kind of fit him over there. I ink the edges real well to give him a shadow look. And I'm going to fit him over here. Because, and it kind of gives it a little three-dimensional look anyway. And I checked it with my magnets. My magnets are still good. 
so it's not going to interfere with my magnets and my Santa's been fixed and now I, I don't have to let it go. <laughs> so I just adhered this little strip here. This is about three quarters of an inch up from the um, bottom part of the, the cranberry paper. I still need to pull my tape down here because um, I didn't do it because I was putting this under there, but I think that's it. I might add something here, but I, I'm i going to just sit on it for now. I don't want to clutter it up. There's already lots of going on in here. So that's our little waterfall page. 